guys welcome to another episode of Ruby from scratch in this episode I'm going to be talking to you guys about methods and arguments and a keyword arguments and what you can do with them so basically what I have here is it's the same thing that we it's doing in the previous episode it's just going to output um, you know my my uh, Game of Thrones name and which house I'm in so it's the exact same thing but the code looks a lot cleaner because now it's organized into uh, methods and generally we use methods to organize like if you will thoughts so imagine this is our brain like this whole file is our brain and we can basically compartmentalize our code and uh, make it represent like something make it more readable so for example instead of just having one big file with you know just random lines of code doing random stuff we have uh, what we call a, a methods and uh, we give it names so for example if I want to load the data from a file uh, I would use this data loader method which handles all the you know file loading and I can even pass arguments into it to load which file so for example if I have more than one YAML file in my project I can pass in the name of the file and it'll load that data for me so it's you know it's a way of uh, organizing code which makes the code more reusable uh, and it looks much cleaner and it looks nicer so basically this is the basic construct of a, of a method uh, you start with the def and then the name of the method and you pass in whatever arguments you want and then you have an end that's the basic structure all right so uh, basically I'll let me go through this code over here so what I've done is made this uh, more dynamic so now we have a file name we pass in when we call a data loader a data loader is being called from here and uh, this file name then goes over here right so this argument goes in here um, so when I'm calling data loader, I am passing in the file, and where is the file coming from? So this file here is being called, this data method is being called here. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm not using any file name. So over here, what I've got is default value. So the sec there's two arguments for this data method. The first argument is which data set. So if I look at my data, I can pick which data set I want to load from from this file. And uh, then I have to pass in the file, but because we have a default value over here, uh, which is got name, so this file then comes down here, adds the dot, dot two YAML uh, extension, and it goes and loads this particular file over here. And then basically the set uh, is which you know which data set we're, we're getting. Uh, so that argument then goes in here, right? So once we have the data from here, uh, we're just basically this is getting that data. Uh, what's going to happen is, um, you know, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to get the first initial down case to sim. Uh, so this is very similar to what we had before. All we're taking is the, the first initial, making it lowercase, converting it to symbol, so we can load the name from the men's first name data set, right? And we're doing the same thing for the last, uh, last initial with the house name. And uh, we're going to do a join with this piece of text over here. So that basically it'll say my my Game of Thrones name, of house, and then my house name, right? So whatever, uh, of house, Tali, or for whatever, like that could be the output. So let's, let me just take a, uh, let, let me just show you how, uh, you know, the, the output of this thing is. It's basically the same as the previous episode. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, I'm just gonna do IRB, and I'm gonna copy and paste this require file. So this is gonna load that file. I'm gonna call name and house. So it does the exact same thing, but now things are much cleaner and it's much more readable. And we know what each piece of code does what, like what job each piece of code has. So this makes it much, much better, right? If we have methods and we organize things into like, uh, you know, it's jobs and we give it a nice name and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let me explain this piece of code over here that I've added. So basically, this is uh, an instance variable, and in this case, we don't have any object, but you know, in Ruby, everything is an object. So in this case, when we run this piece of code, it's going to be running in like a global object space, if you will. Um, so it's going to be running in an object space. So this is going to be the instance variable for that, uh, that object. I mean, if you don't already worry, understand what I said about the object space and all that, don't worry about it yet. Basically, this chunk of code, just make sure that we're hitting the database uh, sorry, the data, the flat file data, just once. Uh, so if it's already loaded it, so for example, we're calling data twice here, we're calling data here and data here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ensure that we're not going to the disk again. We're just loading it from memory once we've loaded it already. So this is uh, 
some kind of like a caching mecha mechanism. In Ruby, it's called memoization. We'll talk about this a little bit later down the line. All right, so yeah, so once we have the data set, then we pass in the first initial uh, symbol, last initial symbol, join it with of house, and then we're done, right? So that's pretty much it. I mean, um, we, we have a working solution, but there's actually a better way. So for example, over here, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna show you an, another way of doing arguments. So for example, over here, we have a data set and file. I mean, what if, uh, you know, I, I want to like, you know, I don't want to have to care. Like, for example, if I wanted to pass a file name first, uh, for example, if, if we, uh, you know, have a file name here and the set was like this, right? Um, we could use something what we call an R, uh, keyword arguments. So we can use something like from and then got name. So now this will be the, uh, what is it called? The, the default value for from, right? And this is the, the name of the set. So what we can do is, for example, if we have uh, other, um, so set, so we just do nil. And basically now we can uh, name our argument. So set, so we're saying that the set is, uh, you know, men's first name. And sometimes you just, you, you might have a, a data set over here got now we, we have just one file but what if we had other file we can do from uh, another file for example and we don't have to care about the order of the code like we don't have to care about um, you know which order we did it from so for example if I just do got names here we're gonna get the same thing but I'm just showing you that the order no longer matters so what we have here is called the keyword argument. So we need to change this thing to from. Um, so, you know, you can see the syntax is very readable. Data set, men's first name, from which file. So it's super readable, right? This line of code is very, very readable. So that's what keyword arguments can allow you to do. You can, you don't, if you use keyword arguments, you don't have to care which order you pass the arguments in. While if you use normal arguments, you do need to care. The order does matter, right? So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys understood everything I said. I'm gonna paste the link to the, the diff. So basically the before and after for uh, this uh, code in the description below. So check that out and drop me any comments you have. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. See you guys in the next one.